What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Brood War Ladder Cast. Today we're going to be taking a look at Shine over here in the center right versus Wiko 1127 in the bottom left. He's also known as Noel and he made his first appearance in the ASL this season. Pretty impressive for a Wiko player to make it into the SSL. I think that's the first Wiko maybe ever. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I think he might be I'm proudly displaying his name, Wiko, rather than Noel. A little bit interesting that he made that decision. But how will he fare against Shine? Shine, I'm really looking forward to seeing him play. He's been doing amazing in the KCM recently. Had some great performance in the semi-finals of the last season of KCM, the season three of 2024. So I think he stands a pretty good chance of going deep this season. I don't think he's necessarily gonna be a, an SSL champion just yet, but I do feel like he's got some potential to, you know, round of 16, maybe even round of eight. So we're gonna be watching him closely here can see already we go going for his wall in at the front and every game that we've seen from we go has been a gas build it's always been a factory play so he's really into mech uh, versus zerg so let's see if he goes for mech once again or will he try to mix things up because i haven't even seen him play mmm yet Well, today I uh, played a bit of ladder myself. I got to test out some of the new maps. Unfortunately, did not go as well as I'd hoped. I started off at 1950 and I dropped all the way down to C rank, about seven losses in a row, something like that. Probably a bit of tilt going on there, almost definitely. But we'll be back once again, probably in the next couple of days here to try and slowly make our way back up that ladder. It is tough right now though, with all the new maps, a lot of struggles, a lot of difficulties. It is what it is. Just gotta keep on pushing through. Hopefully we will get up to a rank here eventually. Looks like Shine discounting the option of a push right now or any sort of marine pressure coming across the map. He's only built two lings and he's moving his overlord all the way around. So he's got no vision here at the front. What's going to come out of Wiko here? I'm expecting a factory in just another couple of moments. You can see he has the money for it. So there's the factory. Factory on the way as expected here from Wiko. As for Marines, looks like he, he's thinking about pressuring a little bit. But speed is about to finish and two more Lings are going to pop out. So that's not really a good option. Although losing these Marines is not the end of the world. You'd rather keep them alive, put them in a bunker somewhere and utilize them a little bit later on to maybe defend against the Mutalist pressure. Two more Lings just popped. We're going to have another two uh, in the queue. Get that. SCV. Oh my god, he didn't get the SCV. That's so rough. We're about to have some more Lings coming up. Oh man, if only he hadn't ran those Lings into the Marines there earlier on. He would have been able to clear this very, very easily, but now he's going to bring the Lings together and he will be able to clear these Marines, albeit not as efficiently as he would like. Drones getting back to mining. That was quite a bit of lost mining time, so pretty worthwhile, I would say, for Wiko. Slowing down. Shine here for just a little while. We do not have an armory just yet, which I'm a bit surprised about. We have an engineering base starting up, but no armory. Instead, going into a starport. Is he going to make Goliaths, or does he have something else in mind? Maybe going to make... A Valkyrie? You still need an armory for that. I'm really confused about how we're going to be defending 
this upcoming Mutalisk attack. Shine looking for another base here on Dominator. Maybe up to the top center. He starts his five Mutas, and they'll be sent across the map here very soon. On Bunker there in the natural. And it feels like he wants to go for a drop. There's the armory. He's actually going to add a drop ship on with Mutas on the map. That seems like a bad idea, but we'll see. Turrets are starting now. Looks like they might just barely finish in time here in the main base. Shine not sending the Mutas directly in, so maybe we're going to miss out on some damage that he could have gotten. He's instead going to come around here, knowing that these will probably be added on later. And that maybe there's a better opportunity at this location to deal that damage. Five? What? What's this? Six? Speed Vultures heading out on the map right now. That is quite scary. Six Speed Vultures can kill every drone here. Only be able to do so. Facing these SCVs. They deal a lot of damage to them, but I think this actually does way more. Oh my god, this is every single drone going down in the main base. All the drones are going to be falling here. Well, that's actually not a bad drill. The drill ends up mitigating a lot of that damage, but we're down to 13 workers total. Just 13 workers here. Pushing away the SCVs from the natural. 12 now. 12 total workers. I think you might actually want to cancel this. Maybe just cancel your third. I'm just going to let it finish. You definitely need money right now. Can he actually break the bunker at the front? He definitely can. He's going to try and do that right now. Kills the bunker. All the marines will go down. These two supply depots are definitely going to die. The vultures here are going to run by. Force the mutilus back again. Yeah, you can't really stay uh, and, and fight if the vultures are just going to annihilate your economy. So... They will be forced back for a moment. Wiko's going to buy some time for himself. Maybe get set up. Over at this natural. Two Goliaths coming up this ramp. They have to fall back. Dropship going to be sent into the main base now. Pretty sneaky play here from Wiko. He's going to try and get in there and deal some more damage. This command center is getting low. He's actually going to pull that back. Two Valkyries now are going to be able to deal a lot of damage to this. He dives right on top of that. I don't know about this play from Shine diving on that. He gets shoved back, and the drop in the main is going to do a lot of damage, it seems. Yeah, lots of damage here. 41127. Pushing back all these drones. Another nice... Uh, stop position micro there from Shine. He manages to block that a little bit. Slow it down. Take less damage. Forcing those vultures to dance. And he really didn't take too much damage. He's actually ahead in workers now. 23 to 26. If he can just get some sunkens at his front, I feel like he could stop taking damage from all of these vulture runbys. But there's not really any vultures coming. Okay, now there's vultures being made. Once again, looks like the dropship just got picked off. And this has been a pretty wild game so far. I really do feel like Shine is coming out on top, though. In the end, we don't have any upgrades. Coming here for Wiko. Plus one armor is on the way. For these Mutas. And finally, we will have a Sunken here. Need to get a Sunken up here as well. Maybe two Sunkens. Start that Sunken colony now. Another two Vultures come running in. Just gonna have to pull back those mutas as soon as he can. Hopefully not take too much damage here. Nice blocking. And the sunken colony is actually gonna deal a lot of damage there. So these scourge popping out. Maybe an opportunity to snipe the Valkyries. Let's see where these Valkyries get sent because Wiko has to be really careful with these. Oh man, he could end up losing all of these. Yeah, he's going to take this shot. I think you wait for the second shot to come out of the Valkyries, and then you just go for it. Go! Go! Oh! Alright, looks like he's not going to get that. Maybe he gets one? Okay, he gets one. And he's still got two Scourge left, so he can defend this Overlord. Nicely done. Two more Vultures heading up towards this top center. They're going to spot this base, but... 
I'm not going to get any damage. Sunken Colony here on high ground. I think you want to actually build your Sunkens out here. Because the Goliath attack will eventually come. Another dropout on the map. That's wild to me. But he's still going to go with this. There are two Scourge over here though. Which could potentially catch on to this. I think they're on a patrol move. No, it looks like they're not. Oh, he does see it with the Overlord though. That's a big scout. Hopefully, Shine uh, spotted that. Vultures out on the map. Just kind of looking around for some damage. I don't think they're going to find it though. Shine seems to be uh, ready on all fronts. Here we go. Drop ship. Gets found. Will have to drop out. Going to try and run by here. See how much damage he can get. Loses a vulture immediately, but this is still two vultures in the main. Alright, going to go ahead and fire on those. Like maybe two drones end up going down. Another couple of drones going to fall here in the natural. Will he get a third? Yes, he does. Three in the natural. So not bad, but still. We can easily replenish that drone count and... That was quite a few units that were thrown away. This is These are not Goliaths that were being made. Single Valkyrie. Okay, two Valkyries are available. Two more factories on the way. The worker lead has exploded in the last few minutes. A lot of workers here for Wiko. Not many more for our Zerg player, though. Shine is having a hard time. And he's having an even harder time actually blocking these vultures from running by. Here they go again. Gonna come in and deal some more damage. Oh my goodness, this is getting so annoying, honestly. If I'm playing a shine right here, this is really, really frustrating. Getting run by over and over and over again. He runs his drones out to the natural. And I don't know what we're gonna see here from shine. He's got an extra base up, but it seems like he's not building any more drones. He's brought all the drones to the natural. He's got almost none in the main. Uh, pretty decent saturation at the third, but his fourth is empty. And he's not building drones. He's just building Scourge. It seems like he's getting ready. Oh, he sees this dropship. Dropship's going to go in. He's just going to dive in. Oh my goodness. This is craziness from, from Shine. He's just going to go after the Valkyrie. He actually kills the Valkyrie. That's kind of big. The one Vulture over here is going to get some quite some damage. He's flying in. Oh, man, if he had a queen right now, that would be amazing. But he just doesn't. He's going to dive in, just kill all the turrets, and maybe just overwhelm these Goliaths. Kind of a shocking turn of events here. I wasn't expecting Shine to just go all in, but it's actually working out pretty well for him. Oh, God, these drones are still dying. He kills the natural command center, which is absolutely massive. He doesn't have that many mutas left over, but he's got 12. Will he switch back into drones? Yes, nine drones now on the way. Kind of a wild and wacky game right now. I mean, this is what you get when you have Shine versus a Wiko player, right? Wikos are known for being extremely cheesy, uh, kind of crazy, and not playing standard. And this is definitely not standard play out of Wiko, but... Shine is completely comfortable playing non-standard games, I feel. Maybe the counter to a Wiko player, Shine, is like a, a Wiko play at, player at heart, maybe. He would fit right into their squad, I'm sure. But he's done a great job here, figuring out exactly what he needs to actually stop 1127. And this run by, I mean, it could get some more damage, but... We can't even mine from our natural, and I don't think there's going to be a time where we can mine for it for quite some time. Maybe if he builds just purely Val uh, Valkyries. If he gets a few more Valkyries out. Oh, even another drone. Going. He's got no drones at the main and natural. If he did a run by over here, he would get so many kills. So many kills. Let's go ahead and start the command center on location again. Feels like he would have stopped doing that by now, but he's just going to keep on with it. No more Valkyries on the way. Turrets are going to start to be built. But I think Shine just comes in and shuts this down again. He's coming forward. Vultures are trying to run out. He's just going to let them pass. Goliaths here are going to fight. I think it's too many. Too many mutas. 11 mutas. And there's only, what, four or five Goliaths? The turrets are about to finish. 
and as these three turrets finish it might not be advisable to stay and fight this so he does back away Vulture gonna run by one more time there is another uh, sunken over here if only he could get up to this base and actually harass that he would have gotten so much damage this natural command center is about to finish so he will be back onto one base like he's actually gonna have somewhere to mine but he won't have two bases for long shine on very few drones starting to pump out some more now going up to 41 the worker count has once again inverted where our Terran player is behind in workers once again kind of a wild turn of events here will we see another base out of Wiko? can he actually get into a reasonable position he's gonna get up here and kill some more drones in the top center uh this one sunken colony takes a long time to kill these drones so he's gonna get a lot of kills here almost nearly all of these drones end up going down only three remain at the end of that he has not picked up on this base yet i feel because he's gonna go ahead and try to run by in the natural again more drones gonna go down here in the natural we've seen so many drones get made and killed this game it's kind of crazy i would love a count on that exactly how many drones were actually killed this game because i feel like it's just an insane number ultra's heading northward again gonna look for more damage at this location but there's really not many drones over here he really needs to get over to this base i don't think he knows that there's a fourth i think he just does not suspect that there would be a fourth out of shine at this point um gonna go after some eggs can't actually get any of them I don't see another CC just yet. I feel like we should have one of those pretty soon. Ooh, just barely misses out on killing that dropship right there. He's been building dropships almost non-stop. Another run by into the natural. This one will be ill-fated. One drone. One drone. Just that's it. That's all he can get. Again, flipping the script here. Back to a Terran advantage in terms of workers. Now on 37 to 32. There's hardly any mining in the main base, but he will have a, a vessel out in a moment. I almost said an, an irradiate out in a moment, but the irradiate upgrade doesn't appear to be on the way just yet. Once he's got that irradiate, you can't really go for just pure muta anymore. Pure muta is just not going to cut it at that point. More drones going down. Down to just three at this base once again. It's crazy how many drones he's actually killed so persistent with this play doesn't have another drop but finally we're gonna see shine get burrow oh my gosh it's been so long so many run bys in this game and he finally decides to get burrow feels a bit late but i think that we're not gonna see you know 1127 slow down on this he's gonna keep on trying over and over and over again to get in here so might as well get it eventually are we going to see a third out of 1127? Just pure Goliath spam. He's getting into plus two. He's got plus one armor. What are we at? Plus two armor. Plus two attack is almost done for the mutas. So he's going to stick with mutas. Shine says, I've been upgrading mutas all game. There's no point in switching back into hydras. Again, the mineral line gets wiped out. Only three drones over here again. My goodness. It is craziness. Orgoliath's gonna pop out here. Is he just gonna try to push forward to take another base? Or what are we gonna see? Irradiate is done. We've got one irradiate there, another irradiate almost ready on the second vessel. All I see is mutas, just pure mutas here. They are heavily upgraded, but I think the mech upgrades will scale a little bit better. The irradiates will help out a lot in these fights, like an, an insane amount. They're going to be helping out. He finally does start plus one missile attack. So there is a a glimmer in the eye of shine of a hydralist transition eventually happening. But it's just so far away at this point. Shine taking another base over here at the top left. He's going to continue to grow. Whereas 1127 really hasn't grown for a while. And he's finally going to take this base. But it's only moments before the natural actually mines out. So... This is a little bit rough. 
Another radiate is ready. A third is just about there. Some scourge being mixed in here with Shine's army. Let's see if we can get some connections on these vessels. I doubt that we will, but maybe once the full on engagement happens, he's got six more mutas in production. The irradiates are going to have to be on point. He's going to have to get really great irradiates and shine. We'll see how well he can pull those irradiated mutas out of the next fight. That's so many mutas, man. That is such a crazy amount of mutas. Let's see if he can take this fight. Okay, here we go. Diving in now. Gonna hit the back of the pack of these. Uh... Oh, gosh. Okay, let's see. Any of these vessels go down? No. Nope. None of the vessels go down. The mutas are pretty well spread, though. Okay, and one muta at the bottom of the pack. Oh, my God. That did so much damage. Another radiate, maybe? Does he have another one? I think he's used them all. And the Goliaths are going to be going down. It's so close, actually. It is really, really close. More mutas are going to arrive in a moment. But also more Goliaths. And we almost have another radiate here. Let's see if he can hold this. It's really, really close to hold. Okay, great pull out here. Gonna pull that one muta back. We've got two more radiates almost done. There's one radiate done. One irradiate ready. Gonna go for it. Oh, get it. He does get the irradiate, but he's gonna lose all of his science vessels here in a moment. Science vessels are going down, but that's a lot of damage from that one irradiate. And the Goliaths are going to hold seven more mutas in production right now. A lot more of them coming to the front. Four Goliaths at a time coming up, but all the vessels are gone. So maybe, just maybe, Shine can break this with this next round of mutas. It's not very clean. It's a little bit sloppy, but I think that Shine has just barely done it here. He's managed to pull out the mutas that were irradiated just barely well enough and take this engagement just well enough to the point where he can overwhelm. GG is called. With those rallies coming through, Shine manages to take this game home. I mean, he should be able to do that, right? He's got one gas, two gas, three gas, four gas, five gases versus the two gas of Wiko 1127. It would be pretty crazy if we if uh, 1127 was able to hold on in such a situation. But the combination of Goliath plus a Radiate is pretty darn good against Mutalis Clump. Just mass Muta trying to fly in. It's pretty hard to control all that, and then even harder to pull out the mutas that are damaged uh, as the fight is going on. They tend to just stack right on top of each other, and with so many coming in, and you're trying to macro more into the fight as well, it's it's a real struggle to get these mutalists to actually fight and trade efficiently, efficiently against the Goliath plus Irradiate. Well, that's it for today, guys. That was a crazy, crazy battle. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video.